This is the stem for the cap boat. It's made out of walnut. I haven't shaped it or anything, so it's, but I'll do that later. Let's see the back. So you've got fiberglass cloth there, and mm. what kind of glue did you use? Epoxy. Epoxy glue, okay. This is the keel made out of walnut too. And that has to be shaped afterwards. Okay, but you're gonna put it on now and shape it when it's dry. Mm -hmm. This is a, called Zappa Gap glue. Dries pretty fast. I buy it at a hobby shop. It's okay. the best fast drying glue I've ever used. When it comes to growing things, we like to say that you should always use more glue than you think you need, right? Yep. Always use lots of glue. That's going to take five or six minutes to get good and hard. Then I'll epoxy it with thin four ounce fiberglass cloth. I don't know if anybody else does it, but I do so much heavy sanding and wet sanding and polishing. If I don't back it up with fiberglass, a lot of times the keel or the rudder will fall right off. Okay. Now I'm going to work on this. This rod is going to be oak. Not long. Well no. Like the kill. I just want to do something different. Okay. Did you glue two pieces together? Yep. That's the back, you're just sanding it yeah. smooth so it will lay on the plaque. Yeah. How does that um, glue um, sand? Not very really good. Five minute epoxy. Oh, that's the five minute epoxy, not the other. It's been on for a couple hours, it still doesn't sand good. No, it doesn't.
So what's the difference in sanding that you would do between um, a painted finish and a varnish finish? Well, I spent, I use a finer paper at the end, but I'm going to varnish it. But you will do the same amount of sanding and then just not go to quite as fine a grit at the end? Yep. I seen it. Oh, I seen it probably good enough to stain and varnish, even if I'm going to paint it. But I just go over it just a little bit more. And I probably use a 320 grit paper at the end. Yeah. So from 80 down to 320. Do you do it the same for all the woods, or some woods you don't go as fine? I don't go as fine usually with teak because it has oil in it and the finish won't stick as good if you go too fine. So with teak do you stop at 150 grit? Oh, well, maybe 220. I don't think we've even told people yet, but you're the foreman of the paint and varnish department at Crosby Yacht Yard. I'm your, um, I guess your helper there. And you've been working there for 50, how many years? 50 what? Seven. 57 years. That's Cape Cod, Osterville. Trace that out, cut it on the bandsaw, but I can't do it till after I have the keel on permanently because the template could be off just a little on each model. Okay. Are you ready to put the glass on the back of that keel now? Yes. Okay. Hopefully the glue has dried. It's not I can piece these together in editing. If you can't do it right now, it's okay. We can move it more.
So what do you have in there? Is that um, MAS or what system? MAS. MAS. Epoxy. Epoxy resin. Fast drying. And then you have some small strips of uh, fiberglass four, cloth. Four ounce cloth. Okay. So you cut the strips to sort of mimic the shape of the keel. Yeah, roughly I'm not too fussy about it. Once it's all glassed, with the resin, I let it set overnight. Don't really do anything. So, if people didn't want to buy a big, expensive MAS or West System kit, what kind of glue could they use in this step in place of that if they wanted to? Well, you can get epoxy at a hardware store. I think little kits of it. Little kits of it. Okay. I've never used it, but yeah, but they do sell it at the hardware store. And you're not too worried about the fiberglass overhanging the keel because you're going to shape that in the. Oh yeah, it's going to be all shaped. It sands off easy too, pretty easy. to reshape this. And there'll be a little piece of brass for the rudder post. Do anything else till it's dry? I can shape it. All right. Well, till the next video, which will be the rudder or the um, tow rails. Which oh, way? I'll go shape the keel. Shape the keel and do the rudder. You the rudder or the rub rail? I might okay. do the rub rail. I gotta do a rub rail, a tow rail, and a bow spread. Bow spread. Yeah. Okay.